Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to create a four panel infographic using Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Creating infographic style Doodly videos can be a fun and easy way to share information with your audience. Now you can make it, you know, four individual steps, you know, like this step one, two, three, and four that take place in a sequence or you could come up with some little fun facts to share. And that's what I plan on doing today. So your first step is always gonna be coming up with your concept and your content, right? So what are we sharing today? Well, I'm gonna pretend that I own a plumbing company and that today is World Toilet Day, which that happens every year apparently on November 19th. So I thought that would be something that a plumbing company might wanna share. It put a smile on the audience's faces and built some brand awareness at the same time. So I gathered some facts and we will put them into our infographic. Now you may be wondering about this little square image that I have here. Yes, I created this on my own in a program, but you can also go to a site like FreePic or Pixabay or any of the other royalty-free image sites and type in four squares and I'm sure you'll come up with something similar. And then you just download it and then import it like you normally would, going over to props and clicking the blue plus sign. Because this is a square shape, it really lends itself to a square video. As you'll see, I have my canvas is square as well. Likewise, that's a great format for sharing on Facebook or Instagram. So how do you get this square canvas? Well, if you go to settings, this is one way you can go over here under resolution, Facebook and Instagram. That's what you want to pick. Okay. By default, you might normally have one of these rectangular ones. Well, we want the Facebook and Instagram one. And as you'll see, it makes it 1000 by 1000. Now I'm going to go ahead and start building my graphic here. So I'm going to delete this little man and I'm going to give this a title. It's not the world's greatest title, but it'll do for our purposes today. Now, I also want to add a little circle here in the middle. So I'm going to go to props and I'm going to click the blue plus sign. I already have a circle image that I've created, so I'm just going to drag and drop it and position it. Now, this circle does cover up my steps, so I'm going to go to step four. Oopsie. Let's do this. Let's move step two and step four. We're going to move them over. And we could put our logo here. We could put an image of a toilet or what have you. So let's just do a toilet. Honestly, I don't even think I need the circle if I think about it. So the toilet would actually look good just on its own. We can just delete that and make this a little larger. So see, sometimes your concepts change as you start building. That's totally fine. Okay, so now let's enter our facts. We need a font. So this is kind of lighthearted. So let's go with the acne. And let's change its font color so it pops. So maybe we use the contrasting color. So kind of a yellowish. That's close, it's not perfect. I'm gonna show you a trick. Now, let's say we really want this exact color here. So I'm gonna take a screenshot and then we're gonna go on the web. So you'll notice I typed in color codes from image and all kinds of different websites come up. So you can pick whichever one you like. I think I've used this one in the past, image color picker. And what you do is use your image well, I had a screenshot, but you know what? I also have the original image, so I'm just gonna pull that one in. And now I have my exact numbers here. Okay, so I click on this yellow and it's this this is its hex code, FCE1A9. So I'm just gonna copy and paste that. And now if I go back into Doodly and I click the gear icon, I could just go right here on my hex code and type that number in. And now I have the exact one. Okay, 
And I want to do that for all of my colors. Now, as you can see, we're losing our text in some of these and we don't really have an outline tool in our fonts, but we can certainly create one on our own. And here's how you're going to do it. You're going to go ahead and select your text, control C to copy it, control V to paste it. Let's move it on up. And when you paste it, obviously it's identical and is on top of each other and whatnot. So I'm going to go ahead and make this one have a zero duration. And then I'm going to click the gear icon. And instead of having this color, we're going to change it to, well, we don't want gray because it'll just go into gray. We'll change it to like this charcoal gray and hit apply. And you can see it's starting to look a little outlined. If I move it over one, one little arrow click, it gives it a nice little shadow effect there. And you'll see it pops out really nicely. So let's do the same. Okay, so let's add some graphics. So I want a rocket from the space station, or even if they have a space station, let's see. Spaceship. Oh, this could work for satellite. Not exactly the space station, but it will work see if we have any people celebrating. Now, remember, you don't have to fit everything in. You can have them hanging out outside of the box if you'd like. You, could, you know, it looks kind of cute like that. And then we will put a call to action down here. Let's look for some germs. In this case, I do want them all to fit in, I think. Okay, so it's built. Now we just need to make sure our order is proper. So what do we want to have come on first? Well, probably the title. And then our little squares. And I certainly don't need a three second drawing of them. And in this instance, I'd like it to fade. So I'm gonna click pencil. And instead of reveal mode where it comes on diagonally like that, we're just gonna fade it. Save and return. And I'm gonna make it like a half second. And then what you need to know about toilets. Let's have this toilet come in next. And it can, I think it can draw on fairly quickly. And then we want, okay, our average, we want fact, our little fact one here. Remember I set it to zero. So that way the shadow comes on and then the hand comes on right away. And that seems to work just fine. And then let's give a little delay before the next one comes on. Let's do a one second delay. And then again, we've got our text. And then this one, we want a slight delay and zero. And then we probably want our space station to come on right after it draws. And then Let's do another delay and in the germs. And then our girl, we probably need to move her up right there. And we probably don't need three seconds. Let's go for two seconds. And then we'll do a slight delay there and maybe slow down the text. probably want to slow down the text in some of these longer ones. So let's go back up. That one could be two seconds. That's probably fine. This one could be two seconds. Space station, probably two seconds. Go for two seconds there. Germs, two seconds. And then at the very end, scene settings, let's add about five seconds to the end. And that should put us right at about 30 seconds. And that's a great length for this type of video. If you'd like, we can add some music. You go over to the sounds tab, categories, music, and you can just browse through until you find something. I'm just gonna take assembled, it's 33 seconds, and that should be fine for our purposes. I'm just gonna drag it down to the music track here. And you'll notice I have some empty space here 
at the beginning. So I'm going to drag my little cursor over and then move that down. And let's go ahead and add a couple seconds more at the end. Okay, one final thing before we preview it. I want to go to settings and I like to turn smart mode off. If you've watched any of these videos, you know that. And while we're at it, let's change the hand. Plumbers don't generally wear sweaters. So let's take this guy. Okay, let's take a quick preview and then we'll be done. And that's how you can use Doodly to create your own four-panel infographic. Thanks for watching!